Hey fellow Blender Maniacs, this is Alex Cordobard for BlenderMania3D.com and in this video we're going to take a look at how to create this cool spaghetti slash play-doh effect where the cylinder goes in these holes and then becomes five individual cylinders. Now you can use this for many different cases such as spaghetti, uh, again play-doh or other instances and plus it's just really fun to do and just very satisfying. So let's get right to it. We're going to open a new scene and delete the default cube yes all right shift a add a plane this will be our ground floor and now this scene is basically going to be comprised of a bunch of cylinders so let's get right to it shift a add mesh cylinder and then hit g z bring it up and then s z and scale it on the z axis and this will be our cylinder with the holes in it that the big cylinder goes through now again, this is a magic trick. We're going to be, again, using the Boolean modifier to give the illusion that the cylinder is going through here and then turning into five individual cylinders. Again, really cool, but it is a magic trick. Next, let's hit Shift A, add in a mesh cylinder. You guessed it. And then we're going to hit S, Shift Z to scale it on all the axes except for the Z axis. And then G, Z and bring it up. And we're going to scale it a little bit on the z-axis to bring it down to about there. All right, now hit 7 to go into top view. We're going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And we're just going to duplicate this in edit mode with everything selected. Shift D, copy it over here. And you want to just copy it wherever you want the holes to be in your mesh. So I'm going to do it like that. All right, next select this main cylinder we added. Go to the modifiers tab. You guessed it, the Boolean modifier. And we're going to leave it at difference. Select the object cylinder 001, which is these five cylinders that we just created. And then hit apply. And now if we move these, you can see that we have holes in our mesh. How cool is that? Now we're not going to delete these as we're going to use them as the soft body objects. Now you could technically have it as one object. However, let's go ahead and separate it. Hitting tab to go into edit mode, A to select everything, P on your keyboard, and we're going to se separate it by loose parts. And so now these are all individual parts, and we're going to select, shift select all of them, right click, set origin, origin to geometry, so that the origins are in the uh, center of each cylinder. All right, cool, we're making good progress. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go to the rigid body physics. Well, not rigid body, we're gonna go to the physics tab and select soft body. And now if we hit play, you can see nothing much happens because we have goal enabled. We need to deselect goal. And now if we play it, it falls down. However, it falls through our plane, selecting our plane, Let's make this a collision object. And now if we play it, boom, check it out. We got some cylinders going. How cool is that? Now for me right now, it's working fine. However, sometimes you may, uh, if you play it, I've noticed some other times when I play it, and I want to mention this because you might run into this, you play it and the cylinder behaves all strange and crumbles into itself. To fix that, all you'll have to do, I'm going to copy this over. All you'll have to do to fix that is hit tab to go into edit mode. Control R, add a, couple, add a couple loop cuts here. And most importantly, go into face select mode and hit the I key to inset a face right here. And then inset a face right here. And then when you'll play it, it will do this right here so what you'll need to do then is go to edges and again I'm going over this because I've noticed sometimes it will behave in a different way than what I'm doing right here you will need to go to edges increase the bending to let's say four and now with the bending at four you will see that it does that and then you'll have to play around with the pull and push and increase those to about a 0.8 and basically, 
if you hover your mouse over, the bending is the stiffness of the rigid body and the pull is basically the stiffness as well, but the stiffness when it pulls at the mesh and when it pulls at it. So three different settings for the stiffness of the mesh. And you can see that here it's working a lot better. And that's actually a pretty cool effect right there. But you can play around with the bending and the push and pull settings of it to get it to look however you want. I'm going to leave it like this, like the original, but that's a pretty cool effect there as well. You can make it a lot more jiggly and everything. And also if you run into the case where this one crumbles in on itself, you now know how to fix it. You're welcome. Now what we want to do is copy the soft body physics to all these cylinders right here. However, the way I'm going to do it is just go ahead and delete these and I'm going to copy this one over to the other holes because when you try to copy the active uh, rigid body physics it copies rigid bodies and not soft bodies if we go to object rigid body and copy from active it doesn't work with soft body also we need to do another thing on this uh, cylinder we need to add a modifier boolean so we're going to add a boolean modifier and to not have to do this again another four times Let's add the cylinder that's going to be boolean to here. Shift A, add cylinder. Now this cylinder is called cylinder 001. I'm going to select this and select cylinder 001. All right, cool. Now hitting 7 to go into top view. With this cylinder, Shift D and copy it over to the other four holes like so. And Boom, there we go. All right, sweet. Now, these right here, we are going to place these, hit GZ and bring them right about here. And then this cylinder, since it's the Boolean to these, if we first go to the Object Data tab, Viewport Display, let's select Display as Wire so that we can see through it. And also under visibility, deselect show in renders so that it doesn't render it out. Now check it out. If we bring this up to here, they disappear. How cool is that? All right, so this cylinder right here is going to be over these. So it's going to hide or mask those. And then we're going to hit Shift A, add a mesh cylinder again. G, Z, bring it up. And we're going to scale it down just a little bit. And this is going to be the one that's going to drop down and look like it's going through here. Now, for this, we what we want to do is add another Boolean modifier with a different cylinder. Let's go ahead and animate this first. Here on frame 1, I, location. Then go to frame, let's say frame 50, G, Z. And you want to bring this all the way past here. I location. So now if we animate this, you could see what we got there. All right, but we need the cylinder to disappear as the other ones appear. To do that, quite simple. All we're going to do, select this cylinder, Shift D, bring it down, and bring it under. And this one is called cylinder 008. So on this top cylinder, we're going to add a modifier, Boolean. Yeah, so many cylinders and so many Boolean modifiers. And we're going to select cylinder 008. So that now when this one goes down into that one, it disappears. How cool is that? So it's basically done. However, we have one issue. The rigid or the soft body cylinders are falling before our cylinder reaches this mesh. To do that, to make it synchronize, quite simple, we're going to animate the gravity. How cool is that? You could animate gravity in Blender. I mean, come on. We are really the masters of our own world here. Going to the scene data tab right here, under gravity, you could see that we have gravity in the negative Z axis of 9.8. So let's see when we need the gravity to start. The gravity is going to start, we need it to start right around frame 25. So on frame 25, I'm going to put this to zero. 0 and hit the I key. Then on frame 26, 
I'm going to go ahead and put negative 9.8 and hit the I key. So basically, we have no gravity on frame 25, and on frame 26, we have 9.8 gravity. And since soft bodies or rigid bodies act with gravity, check it out. If we play it, how cool is that? Super cool. So now let's just make sure it aligns nicely. If we play it frame by frame, you can see that the cylinders need to come out a little bit before that. To fix that, just select these two keyframes on the timeline and hit G. Whoops, that's not G. Hit G and bring them back a little bit. And now let's see what we got. And we could again play it frame by frame to kind of. So now we could bring them back just a little bit more, maybe two more keyframes. And check it out. How cool is that? Now we have the illusion of a cylinder going through these holes and turning into five individual cylinders. Sweet. Let's just select these, hide them in the view in the outliner. And boom, there we go. We have a really, really cool effect that would seem like it's hard to accomplish. But it's actually relatively easy using the Boolean modifiers and a couple tweaks and magic tricks. How cool is that? All right, so go out there, make whatever you want with this tutorial. I look forward to seeing your result. Head on over to BlenderMania3D.com, share your work there, and join the community. I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Au revoir. One last quick thing we need to do is actually change the speed of the animation of this cylinder. Because you can see that these already fall through and this one is still going through it. So let's go to frame 50, select that keyframe. And let's bring it back to maybe frame 30 and see how that looks. And frame 30 is maybe too much, so frame 40 should be fine. And you can see that now the cylinder disappears by the time these go out. All right, cool. See you in the next one. Ciao for now. Au revoir.